Hey everybody, it's Amanda from Amanda's Budgets. I'm here to do my budget by paycheck week one of July. I know it's not the seventh yet, but I'll go over all this and we'll explain why. Usually I wait until the end of the week to cash stuff, but my husband got paid early. And even though week one is not done for me, um, I want to see how far I can get with bills with the money we have. Um, this is a mixture of my husband's paycheck and the last four days of doing some uh, DoorDash Uber Lyft for me. This does not include my cash tips. Um, it also does not include any uh, bonuses that I have made. I actually pulled that out. Um, you'll see what I'm going to be doing with that in the next few videos. Um, but we do have some cash here. We have our budget by paycheck method. Um, we have our monthly budget breakdown. So um, let's go ahead and get started. But first of all, if you're new, welcome. My name is Amanda. I'm 35. I live in Oregon and I'm an all cash budgeter. I do cash stuffing, sinking funds, savings challenges, all on a low income. If that's something you're interested in, please, please, please subscribe, like, and comment on this video. Let me know if you're new. Let me know if you're new in the comments. Um, if you are a returning subscriber and you're a bestie of mine, welcome back. I appreciate you. Um, I've made a lot of good friends here, um, you know, doing cash budgeting, and I am grateful for that. Um, however, I think that I do things a little bit, little differently than most. I'm a very raw individual. I, I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing, okay? We're not here to compete. We're all doing the same thing. Do not compare yourself to anybody else's journey. I know I was recently compared to a few um, budgeters here on um, social media, and I'll, I'll just say this. You can't compare apples and oranges, okay? Um, and, and you only see what I, what I want you to see, okay? Um, I'm going to be real with my budgeting because... <laughs> My space rent, my car payment, my utilities, my car insurance, my phone, my internet, all that stuff is normal stuff. Everybody has it. And if you don't, wow, you must have a really good situation and I'm not judging, but I wish it was me. And let me tell you a little something about my debt journey as well um, after we ca count this cash because I'm honestly feeling kind of discouraged and, and I'll tell you why. So we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600 in 100s. Let me find my cash tray. What did I do with the darn thing? I thought it was up here. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I've lost it. I've lost my mind. All right, cash tray. So let's count this one more time. And I'm going to tilt this up so I can see it. So one, two, three, four, five, six hundred will go in here. So six hundred plus, and then we've got fifty, one hundred. So plus one hundred, and then we have twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one hundred, twenty, forty. plus 140 and then we have five or I'm sorry I don't know why I said five 10 20 30 40 so plus 40 and then we have 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 We're going to do plus 50. So we have $390. That's more than I anticipated. So we'll go over our total income. So $930. Okay. So 
We're gonna go ahead and take away what Jordan gave me. And then this is just for the last few days. Honestly, it's been slower than I anticipated. And I know I said in my last budgeting video that um, I wanted to make 180 a day, but your girl forgot it's a, it's a holiday week. So a lot of people went out of town. A lot of people um, went on camping trips. There was a lot of people that got three day, um, three days of time off. They took the day before the day of the holiday and the day after the holiday off. Um, so it's not just me. I've asked other gig workers, hey, <laughs> has it been slow? And they're like, yes. Now, mind you, this is not my cash tips as well. Um, so that's if, you know, I picked up somebody doing Uber and Lyft and they gave me like a 20 or a 50 or 40. That's not including that. Um, most of this is honestly DoorDash money. Um, I honestly don't feel like it's been all that bad. Um, I also had to take a day um, to myself because I was feeling burnout, you know. I was just feeling burnout. So 6.30 for one week, I don't really feel like that's too bad, even though my husband's check is for two weeks. Um, he also had um, an endos endoscopy and a colonoscopy, which resulted in him finding out that he's uh, gluten and dairy-free. The dairy-free we already knew about. The gluten-free, whoo, that's going to be a curveball. And we'll go over that in a little bit here, too. So... The idea with this budgeting system is we have our income and then we have our savings, we have our bills, we have our wallet and our sinking funds because that's how I should always stuff. Okay. Somebody was like asking me, well, why are you doing savings first when bills come first? They do most of the time come first, but we're on a different income for the summer, right? Things are a little bit easier with my husband working. Um, so we are going to allocate something to these categories, even if it's only a couple dollars. Okay. So let's go ahead and start with that. Um, let's pull our, this is not the binder. Oh no, this has long-term savings in it. So this is my high priority binder. And then we have our mid-grade binder. Um, all of my retirement money has been established in my um, Roth IRA. I'm the only one with a retirement fund um, that's active at this very second because of the fact that we're trying to figure out what's going on with this 401k that my husband can sign up for at work. I don't know if he has to be there a certain time. Sometimes they make you be there 90 days. Sometimes they make you be there six months. Sometimes you have to be there a year. Um, with the last pizza place I worked, my 401k, because I was in management, I had to be there 90 days. So retirement is going to get some cash, but first we have $30 that we've allocated into this account. That's what this these retirement bucks are for. So that's money that's already been allocated. We're only counting the allocation, not the uh, interest that we'll be gaining on that. So we're gonna go ahead and add $5 to that. And I know this pen is broken. It's got a broken cap. These are cheap from the Dollar Tree, but I really like these pens. So retirement is getting five. And then long-term savings, which is not in this binder. It's in this one. It's in the very back. Long-term savings is for whatever the heck I want it to be for. Um, I could be saving for um, my next future home. I could be saving for um, a vacation. Um, I could be saving for, you know, the extreme emergencies. It could be something that, you know, I need to pull from if I am to invest it into something else. Maybe I want to start a small business. These are just some ideas that 
I'm trying to come up with. So um, I don't know what long-term savings for us will be. Those, those are just some things I've seen other people do. Okay, so um, long-term savings is also going to get a five because low and slow is better than too fast and not working out. So we have five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 in this envelope. So $24 and this is seven of 24 and we're gonna deposit plus five. All right, so while I'm here, we're gonna take some of this cash. So we're gonna take five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And we are going to move this money and we're gonna put a 20 in here. I'm sorry, I'm really shaky today, you guys. I found out that my hyperthyroid is really super high again, which is really irritating to me because it does give me the shakes. All right, so that money is allocated for, and I think this is done. I am going to leave these other two blank Savings challenge money is always just extra money that I have. Um, savings challenges are not a huge priority for me, but still a priority nonetheless, okay? So let's go on to our bills. Um, what are we gonna do with our bills? How are we going to um, work with this? I don't know, because it's a whole new system. You and me, boo, we got this. So these are our main categories for our bills. We have our groceries. Um, this is a full month's budget. So if I broke this down, um, groceries would be 80. Pet supplies would be dependent on what we need. Household supplies is very minimal because I really only clean with uh, Clorox cleanup or a brand like it. I usually buy the Winco brand. Um, I also buy uh, sponges. I buy liquid dish soap and I have um, some cleaning products from my Amazon wish list from last year like um, floor cleaner that I still haven't used all of uh, Mr. Clean stuff and then um, I only only buy like the necessary things like um, Ziploc bags, freezer bags. Um, I also buy um, sometimes we've already used our lunch containers to the point where they do not, they're, they're bad, they need to go, they're disgusting. Um, so we get rid of those, go buy them at the Dollar Tree. I also buy garbage bags and that's, that's pretty much the bulk of it, okay? Um, this also includes personal needs. I know that sounds crazy to you, but I use Dollar Tree shampoo and conditioner, okay? And if I can, if I go to Winco, I buy VO5 for 88 cents, 89 cents. So if you're looking to switch things up, I, I find it to be no different. And I got crazy wild curly girl hair. So let's go ahead and get into the bills. So usually we break this down a little differently, um, but I'm gonna do the 550 divided by four. So that would be $38. So we're gonna go ahead and write in here if I can, without knocking everything down. Actually, I think I'm going to just do it. We're going to turn this so I can write, because I'm a left-handed person, and it is what it is, okay? Sorry, besties. Doing the best I can with what I got. And my left-handed hand handwriting is all I got to work with today. Okay? So, we are going to do for... For four weeks, splitting my um, space rent into four weeks. If you don't want to know what space, is, um, space rent is, it is the land that my mobile home sits on. I do live in a 1966 single wide. I do own the actual um, 
house, I just don't own the land. But um, the 550 goes towards water, sewage, garbage, and maintenance in the park. Um, like grass areas, stuff like that. Okay. So we have, well, I guess grass areas except for my own yard. <laughs> That's a me thing. So space rent it's gonna be 138 and I'll grab my bills binder out here I don't know why it's kind of falling apart already or it feels like it is maybe it's just not clamping is that the case I don't know I don't know move this calculator as well to a place where I can find it but it's not in the shot okay so oop, 120 30 5 6 7 and 8 so let's double count that so that's 120 35 1 2 and 3 so we're good there. So space rent. All right. And I'm not tracking any of these, so I really need to take those out. Reminder, sticky note, take out these tracker things. Um, car payment is going to be divided by four as well. So we're going to do 700, which is well over my car payment now. My car payment has changed a little bit since it's lower. Um, the amount is lower, my payment is lower. So I'm actually putting more towards the principal than I actually thought because I called them yesterday and they were like, you know what? You're, do you're doing good. You're doing good. Actually, it was the day before yesterday um, because I was like, well, I need to know how I'm making a principal payment. They're like, well, technically you are. So car payment is 175 okay and obviously if we can change this up and add more into it next week we will do the thing we'll do it but if we can't we won't so we just keep things going the flow <clears throat> the flow in which we need them to be because I'm not in any hurry hurry to do anything because I just established an emergency fund. I don't need nothing else happening. Okay, so we have 150, 60, 70, and five. All right. And then we're going to go on to some other bills that I know are due very, very soon. So we are going to... Mm, so my oldest kid, he went to um, a, a Christian church camp thing for a week, by the way. So he's actually not be, he's not going to be using his phone right away. So I think I'm going to wait on the phones. Um, my youngest kid, he still, he had his activated um, a little bit before my oldest, um, but it's okay. I think we'll be okay. Um, if I have to write it in. And use my tip money I will um, but I don't think it's quite due yet so let's go ahead and do utilities we're gonna keep on board with that I don't have the actual bill yet until after the seventh because they don't actually bill me until I believe the fifth and then it arrives in the mail on the seventh so um, we went over last time. So I assume that we're gonna go over again with this 140 and that's kind of what I'm liking right now because it consistently leaves cash in that account and if my bill got really high, it's gonna go towards that high bill. You know, you don't have to do it that way. I don't like to give more than I have on a bill 99% of the time, but utilities can catch you up pretty fast. I mean, it could be like, oh, hey, here's a $400 bill like it did in wintertime. And it's going to be in the high hundreds, or I'm sorry, high 90s, 
mid hundreds. Um, I think we're going to be 115 on Sunday. So that is crazy. That's the highest. That's a that's a record for our area of Oregon. And they said a super long time. Um, it's just a guesstimate. You know, we were in the hundreds last week. You know, like 101, 102, 104. Um, I do live on a hill, so we get really hot in this little house that we have. I do need to figure out how to get another um, AC unit that is going to work with our small windows because we live in an old single wide. Um, the windows are little or they're small this way. They're not old. They've been replaced um, by previous owners, but it's not they're not big enough to put the box um ac units in so we're using the one with the hose if that makes sense but they're like 400 bucks we got that one at a yard sale for um i believe don't quote me but i, I really do believe it was like 20 bucks because the lady didn't know if it actually worked or not and my hubby worked on it so and let's go ahead and highlight some of these while we're at it. I'm looking for that pink pin. Oh, it's right here. Ooh. Okay, so this one is now paid in full. Okay, we're going to consider it paid because it's already there. Let's go ahead and knock out car insurance as well. Let's do that. So, car insurance is going to be 270 it did go up because I did up the coverage because of the holidays and people traveling I don't want nothing happening to the people in my vehicle um, if you're wondering why it's high first of all I have to have full coverage my car is going to be three years old in August I also have to pay um, for an LLC, a licensure um, kind of thing for my uh, Uber Lyft. To drive Uber Lyft, you have to have additional insurance. If somebody tells you you don't, uh, you better be rethinking that, that plan, my friend, because <laughs> your car insurance might go bye-bye <laughs> like uh, Geico did to me. So if you have Geico and you're doing Uber or Lyft, better watch out. Um, also, you want to make sure that you're covering any bodily injury in your car. Um, that's another thing as well. Okay, so we have 100, 250, 60, 70. I also have roadside assistance and I also have um, rental car as well on there if something was to happen to my car. Okay, so 270. And I believe that's what the two dollar fee. All right, what do we what do we got left? So we have a hundred dollar bill here, and then we have some cash monies. Okay, so we're gonna leave this part blank for um, the later part of the week. Um, I am gonna use the next two. Wait a minute, today is the fifth, so six, seven. So we're gonna use the next two days to fund this stuff. Um, so I'm just gonna leave that blank. I don't know how I'm going to add it in there, but we'll, we'll leave it blank. Okay. Um, and, and maybe I'll do it separately on, in my notebook. I, I don't know. I haven't decided because this is all new. Okay. Um, so those things are now paid. So we paid, we'll say we paid a fourth of each of these two bills. We got the main bills out of the way. Um, none of these other bills are due until the end of the month. Actually, all my bills are pretty much due at the end of the month because that's how I set it up. Okay. So all this is done, worked on. Everything got a little something that needed it for now. Um, we're going to go ahead and grab my wallet because I forgot my wallet. I just realized I'm like looking around the room, not saying anything, but I need to go get my wallet so we can cash stuff that. So we have gas and groceries for the week. I'll be right back.
All right, we have our wallet here. This this thing is pretty much sucked dry. Um, I did have to use the leftover few dollars that I had in here to get some Gatorade because I was dying. It was hot. I used my emergency money. I used my emergency money. Gosh, I can't talk today. And I also used um, the few dollars I had left from um, pizza and household. I believe the boys they spent all their cash it's gone it's gone that's okay that's what it's there for right i'd rather them say hey mom um can i have some of my money than be like um mom uh i know that i only have 15 dollars, but can i spend 100 um they know their limit they know all right so and did i just seriously do that wrong <gasps> i did you guys, this this is jacked up. Oh, this is a jacked up video. That's okay. We're gonna switch this and we're gonna write bills on here. And then we're gonna write wallet. I know that's out of order, but otherwise when I go to track it in QuickBooks and or <laughs> um my Excel sheets, the real the real deal, the off camera stuff, the the budgeting behind the scenes. Um, I'll know what the heck is what. This is just for you guys. How come nobody told me? Hey Amanda, hello. You're jacking this up. All right. Oh well, we all know it's what. So fuel is gonna get a hundred. This video is so messed up. I blame the heat. It's because I have no AC in here, no fan, no nothing. So fuel. It's getting one hundred dollars. All right. Um, next is gonna be groceries, but we're gonna skip over that for a minute. Pet supplies. I do need to get cat litter, and I need to get um, a rat and some crickets. So the rat and crickets cost me a whole thirteen dollars last time, and we'll give ourselves. 15 for the litter because I'm going to buy a big bag a big bag and why did I do that that way because then I have the exact amount I need and then I'm not going oh no at the at the pet store okay so 10 20 25 26 27 28 um Miss Violet has a bunch of food still and so does little Sophie Ann the kitties um, have some survival food for now. That's what I've been calling it um, because it's food that was given to us um, by my brother-in-law. Um, by the way, he has our, well, he has a new to him gecko and a gecko that was ours. Um, and he's, he's a good uh, pet um He's a good pet dad and they don't have kids. They're young. Um, I don't know if they'll ever have kids, but I got to recount this because I can't remember. Um, but they definitely have a love for their animals. And, you know, he has Baron, one of the babies, one of the baby kitties. And Baron is a, a little biter, apparently. <laughs> he, he's a little feisty guy. So 10, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28. Oh, I'm just sweating in here. Make it end. That's it. I'm over it. Summer needs to go. Needs to go home to wherever it came from because I'm done. So 28. All right. Household. I don't need anything for household this time. So we're going to write household supplies gets zero dollars okay the boys i don't i'm not getting any money this time neither is jordan um household's getting nothing i only have one kid right now because the other one is going to be at camp so he's gonna get 15 dollars how about that 15 whole dollars to himself don't worry, you guys. My other kid has plenty of stuff um, while he's at camp. So, 
the boys is going to get 15. So that means that if we want to on a Tuesday, um, when our little theater has $5 um, movie entry, um, if he wants to go to a movie, we could do that and he can have a little snack or something. Um, sometimes he likes to bring himself out to lunch because he's bougie like that, you know? When you're nine, you could be bougie on your mom's dime, right? Miscellaneous and online's not getting anything. By the way, I'm still waiting for my new little wallet. I don't know where it's at. Come on, Timo, be nice to me. Um, emergency is going to get a $5 bill because I needed it last time. I'm not getting any money. Jordan's not getting any money this time. It's okay. We can manage. So, wallet. Emergency. Gosh, my handwriting's getting terrible. I blame the heat. It's the heat's fault. All right. So, let's go ahead and go back to groceries. Okay, what do we got left here? So if you do not know, if you have not seen, um, Amanda had to get rid of all the gluten things in the house because we are not gonna cross contaminate. I know everyone's like, but Amanda, you could have ate all that. Yeah, I could have, but some of it went to baby daddy's houses and um, some of it went to a much in need family friend with um, a bunch of kiddos. like four kiddos, okay, um, a family that just lost their EBT, all that stuff, um, WIC, um, child aged out of WIC, so I was happy to be able to help them out with a lot of that stuff, but like brownies, raviolis, macaroni and cheese, um, some of the other stuff just went to the 50-50, uh, between the two, two, uh, kiddos, so that's what we did. Okay, um, we need to figure out how we're going to restock our pantry. Our pantry literally only has some canned goods. Um, I did go get a couple of gluten-free items at the end of last week, and I didn't show it because I didn't show my budget last the, at the end of last week because I knew that we were going to have appointments and need extra gas money, and um, I was going to have to pay for some medications that are not usual for us um, because my husband did have that procedure done. Um, however, is this the one with the monies? Nope. That's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. This is the one. This is the revolving funds. Why do I not have revolving funds on here? Simple. They're revolving. They go in and out. Okay. Um, this binder is to show, hey, these are funds that we can spend money on at any point in time. So we have a limited amount of cash here. Let's, let's do what we can with what we got. Okay. So what do I think I need for this week? So we definitely aren't going to be going out for pizza. Um, because I'm not going to do gluten-free, dairy-free pizza. Uh, can't, can't afford that. Okay. Um, I'm going to make it myself if I'm going to do it. Um, I am not going to, um, be allowing us to skimp on this gluten-free thing because it, it can ultimately mess you up, okay? If you have celiacs and you're not taking care of yourself, boo-boo, it's time to figure that out, okay? So, Jordan's not getting any money. I'm not getting any money this week. Little Jay's not getting any money. Little Piggy, he's not getting any money. And we have our bulk shop. So, just let me, let me, let me think on this. Let's marinate that for a second. So, entertainment. So, we are taking a trip at the, actually, mid-August. So, we need to figure out how we're going to make that work. It's going to be just for two days. We are going to go to a concert. We're going to need gas money. So, let's go ahead and put a tenner in there. We still have the remainder of the month to do this. I don't think that we're going to have to stay in a hotel or anything because we do have Jordan's best friend and his family living in the area. And honestly, if I, if I need to go bunk at uh, my family's house, I'll do, I'll do the thing. I'll, I'll go bunk there, I guess. Um, my family is going through a lot of changes right now. 
and my grandma's getting older and it is what it is right so 5 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 so 28 dollars 7 24 deposit plus 10 okay so that is that is a slow and steady hey i gotta put the money back in there amanda come on out get get with it so this is something that my husband did not have to pay for his bestie um bought the tickets we're gonna be going so it is what it is um now what do we really have left over for groceries so we have 25 so 25 35 36 37 30, 39 um, I'm going to be buying a lot of fresh stuff, frozen um, fruits and veggies. I'm going to be buying um, stuff like um, eggs, cheese for me, milk for me. Um, my husband doesn't do dairy. He hasn't been doing dairy for quite a few years now. Um, but, you know, he'll need some dairy-free things. But for the most part, I think we're going to survive. We're going to survive this. Essentially, it's kind of like when I was on keto. Um, but we can have gluten-free items and they're not going to be keto. And I'm not going back to keto. Keto is damn expensive. Who in the heck can afford that? It's like shopping at Whole Foods. I call that whole paycheck. I've worked for them as well. Part-time job at night while I was working. My reselling stuff, I worked there. And it... It kind of took the shine away from shopping there. But that's most jobs, right? So we're going to just say, screw it. We're going to pull the money because there's not a whole lot here. The next bulk shop will go towards bulk meat. Um, meat and freezer stuff. Um, so we're going to just say, oh, let's say gluten free shop and then we're gonna go zero dollars and I'm actually gonna highlight that with this purple because why in the heck not because then I know hey we shopped for stuff for gluten free because it is what it is my husband feels terrible about it by the way you guys he's like I don't want you to get rid of all the food and we could have ate it down, but honestly, I think it would have taken a lot of time because it's it's just a lot of food. That was a lot of food. And if you haven't seen that, please go check out my other channel, um, Amanda's Kitchen of Positivity. I will leave it linked in the description box along with my other links. If you want to send me a little cash app or something like that to go towards um, any of our dietary needs, uh, let me know. Um through cash app obviously it's my only way of because somebody asked okay somebody asked what, what's your cash app it's going to be in the description um same with my um amazon wish list and, and you know what if you want to get mad at me for saying it um oh well a lot of other people do uh the same things in in their social media okay so groceries is going to get i should write that on here groceries Gosh, my handwriting is terrible. So we have 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98. Woo, $98 is better than I thought. So $98. All right. So we're done. All the money is accounted for. Don't you dare think I'm going to try to shove all this into this tiny envelope. You see this envelope? That's not going to fit in there. Actually, I'm going to go to the store. <laughs> Literally, by the time this video is up and you see it, I've already gone to the store. Okay, boo-boo? All right. Here she is. <laughs> She won't stay closed, so you know we're just gonna go to the store, okay? 
we're just gonna go like this and put it in our, our purse and call it good. Um, as always, do what you can with what you got because it's all you got to work with. I'm sorry that this was a mess of a video, but you know what? We're doing what we can because this is all I got to work with. And I messed this up a little bit and I blame the heat. So um, stay cool if you're gonna be working in hot weather, drink water, um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.